Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to our Neil Home Show Smart Home. My name is Lee. I'm going to give you a little tour through the home, take you through some of the latest tech uh, and smart home technology we have. As you can see, our uh, robot vacuum cleaner has decided to come out literally just smack bang on time, which is perfect, but it's not your moment. Um, first question I'd like to know, who already has a little bit of smart technology, let's say an Amazon Echo? You have? Jolly good. What do you use yours for, sir? What's the most common thing? Shopping list. Shopping list, nice. Yeah, music. 99 out of 100 times I ask that question, it's music. The other one time, it's uh, the weather. Uh, but they are much more powerful than that. They do so many. The, the shopping list is a brilliant idea. That's awesome. But what about controlling lights, controlling things like curtains and blinds. I'm going to go through all that. So let's start off at the front door. Um, anyone already got themselves a video doorbell like Ring? You have, good stuff. Easy to install, right? Uh, two screws. And I'm sure we can use a screwdriver. So it's all, all the, basically everything I show you in terms of smart technology, we can do ourselves, i.e. we can install it. Because uh, they're so easy to do now. Um, video doorbells, they're, they're all very much similar, but they give us that little first sense of security at our house. It then gives us the ability, wherever we are in the world, we could be laying on the beach in Barbados, someone goes up to our front door and rings the doorbell, boom, on your phone, you can see who it is. Now, don't tell them you're laying on the beach in Barbados, because then you're saying your house is empty. That's like putting a post on Facebook, away for two weeks. Why you would do that, I don't know, but people do. It's a bit silly. Um, but this, combined with other devices, like your smart lock, this one is from a company called Simple, um, using your video doorbell and a smart lock, you can grant people access to your house from anywhere in the world. So if you are laying on the beach in Barbados and let's say your, your dog walker was going around, you know, you can let them in. Give them a code, a one-time code. Once they've used that code, it's expired. There are some smart locks which enable you to give windows of opportunity to certain codes. So for example, if you did have a dog walker that came to your house Monday to Friday uh, between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m., then his code or her only works in that period. Now there's also the ability to have thumbprint recognition like this door lock from Simple. I just simply hold the door handle, it'll recognize my thumb and in you go. Now everyone in the house can be registered which means you can also see when people came to the house. So when the husband says he was back at 11 o'clock last night from the pub, was he? No, 1.15 in the morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> but also, let's say for example you had an elderly relative that couldn't just keep getting up and answering the door because someone's ringing the doorbell to flog them some tea towels or something. Um, they can see it from their tablet or their smartphone from their armchair. There's no need to serve their Coronation Street. They can carry on watching that and answer the door from the armchair. And if they then want, they can grant access to that person whilst they've got a smart lock. Or you can have it come through to your phone. So then you can vet who is coming and going and see who's coming and going. Has the carers been? Have the cleaners been? Has the dog walker been? You know, all these things can be done simply by having a video doorbell and a smart lock uh, to your house. And to be honest, and now I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I have one of these, um, and I've got the first ever Ring version, which is going back oof, five, six, seven years now, something like that, it's gone so quick. Um, and I noticed a few times that uh, a few, how rude, a few people, <laughs> A few people walked up my pathway, clocked the door, turned around and walked away. Now, one of two things happened there. Either they saw the video doorbell and went, oh, they've got a video doorbell, can't rob this house, or they noticed the number on the door was the wrong one and walked away. It's one or the other. Um, I would like to give them the benefit of the doubt it was the wrong house number, but who knows? Um, I have got everything literally automated in my house. Smart locks, video doorbells, CCTV cameras, these are even easier to install now because usually, back in the day, we'd have to have wires running everywhere, all these cam no, connected via Wi-Fi. You know, so no more cabling them in all around the house anymore. Um, and again, have a look what's going on when you're away. You know, have, have it alert you that there is movement because there really shouldn't be movement down the side of your house whilst you're away or in your garage or in your shed. You know, if you want to have alert, um, an alert come up on your phone if there's movement, you can then have a look, see who's there, and then obviously call the police or, I don't know, tell them to get out. Um, so these are really good. These are a company called Eufy. Eufy has a massive range. Like, it's really good now. Their range is phenomenal. Um, 
even the vacuum cleaner is from you. People will get there in a moment. Uh, let's talk home fitness. Home fitness, it isn't necessary now because before you used to have to have these big gyms with all these heavy weights. Not anymore. I've got three exercise gyms to show you to have in your home. Um, one is the Echelon Mirror. This is the way to see your personal trainer in front of you and yourself. So that way you can do like a full on hit workout in the privacy of your own home um, with your own personal trainer. There's also the um, Vitruvian workout deck. This is resistance training. So you could do a workout with your tablet or your TV in front of you, um, and you could select your program, the one you want, the exercise you want to do, and the deck will adjust accordingly. So if it was saying you're doing a 10 kilo dumbbell curl, you'll be doing a 10 kilo dumbbell curl. It could be 20 kilos, it will adjust automatically. I do also have a third gym, but this one you could fit in the palm of your hand, but I will show you that very soon. Let's move over into my kitchen area. I've got so many items here in the kitchen. You're more than welcome afterwards to come up, have a look around, uh, but I want to drag your eyes over here to my Blanco Smart Tap. Now, Smart Taps, um, especially just the ones that dispense boiling water. You know, you've got your normal mains, hot and cold running water that comes from the mains or your main boiler, but what about boiling water, 100 degrees uh, for your cup of tea? Now, there's a lot of taps out there that already do that, but this one, you can dial in your preferences. And what I mean by that is, how much of that water do you need? So instead of having to press start and stop, you dial in, I want 250 mil of 100 degrees water. Hold your cup underneath, hit the go button, that's 200 mil, dispense. You don't need to measure it out. Now also, if you're doing cooking and you want X amount of water, still water of course, uh, but filtered, Again, dial it in. Do you want one liter of water? Absolutely, dial in one liter, hit the go button, and that's one liter of filtered fresh still water. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. There's also some pre-programmed functions in case you want sparkling water, um, but also how sparkling. We all have a little preference. Now, do you want it 10% sparkling or do you want it full on sparkling? Again, how much of a volume? Maybe you've got a gin bottle that's 440 mil and you want sparkling water that's kind of like 20%, but you want it 440 mil, chilled, filtered, no problem, program it in on the app, dial it in on the tap, and away you go. Really clever. Now, the Ideal Home Show has been around for, oh, something like 120 years, a long time. Uh, this is my 22nd year of the Ideal Home Show, and it always excites me to have something first of, always launching, like the microwave oven was launched here at the Ideal Home Show for the very first time many, many, many moons ago, and I wasn't here for that, I'm not that old. Um, but LG assembled this specifically for us here at the Ideal Home Show. It's the only one on display in the world. It's this fridge, uh, a fridge freezer called Mood Up. It gives us the ability now to reflect some nice colors and lights within our kitchen. It's got Bluetooth built in, Wi-Fi built in, a speaker built in. Uh, and you can change the colors, whatever you like. They say a fridge will last us about 17 years. Uh, and in that time, we will change our appliances. Our kettles change color, our toasters change color. Um, so why not change the fridge color without changing the fridge? We can do that using the app. You can also, and this is quite funny, um, we can also have it reflect the weather outside. In this country, it's gonna be like 99 out of 100 days gonna be gray but we can throw some color on and get a nice spring morning like it should be. Um, it's also got uh, an instant view door here. So if you wanna see inside, just double tap uh, and the light will come on. Give it another little double tap uh, to turn the light off as well. But come up and have a look. Let's talk surround sound um, for our homes. Who's already got themselves some really good um, theater surround sound? A couple of people, good. Um, well, there's a few systems out there. Uh, JBL, the Bar 1300, has detachable rear speakers. This is the kind of cool way to have um, no wires going around. You know, sometimes you have to wire them in and have them on stands. Um, this charges itself up once it's docked onto the main bar. Once you detach that, pop it behind your sofa or on the stand, you can get a stand with it, just clip it on. And then that way you've got full surround sound. And now that's a you know, a good piece of equipment and it sounds phenomenal, but maybe you don't have that space. Maybe you want something a little bit smaller. Now, spatial audio, this little beast from Sony. Charge it up, self-powered. You can use this in like maybe a motorhome. You can use it in a study. You can listen to music with this or watch films. These little speakers drop off. You can, they're magnetized. You can put them on the armrest or on the table. Um, and it kind of, how do I explain this? 
Spatial audio is where it immerses you in this kind of bubble, this dome of music. You don't know how it does it. We don't ask how it does it, but it's quite phenomenal. That piece of equipment will, I, I mean, I don't like talking prices usually, but that's around about 500 pounds. Um, but when you listen to it, you're like, okay, I get why. Um, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Optimus Prime. You don't seem too impressed. Well, I'm about to impress you because uh, when I was a kid, or when we were children, we used to have to fold them out, eh, 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 try and stand it up and then kind of walk it through. Not anymore. Voice activated, app controlled as well, so you can use it like a remote control car buzzing around. But watch this. Are you ready to be impressed? You might want to stand up and take a view. Hey, Optimus Prime. Transform. Is that not the coolest thing in the world? Oh, you're facing the wrong way. Hey, Optimus Prime. Turn around. Oh. No, all the way around. Don't be so rude. Uh, there you go. Oh, what's his, um, his arch enemy's name? Um, um, oh, Megatron. Don't answer. Yeah, you like Megatron, don't you? He doesn't. Watch. Hey, Optimus Prime. Megatron. Ah. <laughs> what you can't hear is the sounds he's making. He's like very, very angry. Um, <laughs> look at him. Here he goes. Where is he? Go on. Let's go. He's fighting Megatron. Now he's getting very angry. Um, what else? Oh, and there's, I mean, you could do push ups if you need a push up partner. He'll do push-ups with you. But let's do, um, hey, Optimus Prime, um, roll out. And this is where he turns back into a truck. Oh, let me move that out of the way because he's going to roll into that. There we go. Now, mind the chair. Stop. Um, that's Optimus Prime from a company called Roberson. By the way, if you like any of these items, all you need to do is take out your camera on your phone, point it at the QR code, uh, and that will take you to the product. That is... Um, by far one of the coolest toys I've seen on the market for years. Oh, and by the way, they do a lot in the range. There's quite a few of these um, robots in the range, and they gave me a sneak peek um, of this new one coming. It's like a, almost like a T-Rex, and how it folds out, and it's simply phenomenal. Like, the robotics within that is crazy. Oh, I did promise you a gym in your hand, didn't I? A palm of your hand gym. Well, take a look at this. This is from a company called Valkyrie. This is genius. I had a go at this on Thursday last week. Uh, basically, you put these little sticky pads on your arm. Um, you put these bands on, and then you pop on your virtual reality headset. You grab your controllers like this, and you can see on the floor, it's weird as anything, but it's genius. You see these dumbbells, so you pick them up. And when you pick them up, your biceps and triceps tense. It's called EMS, Electronic Muscle Simulation. It's clever. And then you've got these little dumbbells, and then you've got these balloons. You're going to go pop, 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 pop. I did two and a half minutes on Thursday sweating. Genius. There's so many little workouts you can do with that, um, which means you can pop yourself uh, um, them in your handbag on your way, on your holidays, to take your fitness with you. Um, I would give you a demonstration. I mean, you can have a look at the virtual world that you're in, but unfortunately, on day one, someone stole the sticky pads. They're useless, utterly useless in anything else, um, which is bizarre. Now, let, where's my iPad? Over here. Let me grab my iPad because I want to show you something else as well. I've got loads to show you. Um, if you have any questions, by the way, do throw your hands in the air. Take a look at the art on the back wall. Um, this, is of this is from a company called V Unite. This is a way of displaying your favorite photos, your holiday pictures, anything like that, um, simply by swiping on the app. As you can see, go through all those lovely pictures. Now, here's the thing. You can gain yourself some brownie points. And I mean that because when the mother-in-law comes around, you can put her photo up. She's like, oh, it's cute. They've got a picture of me. Where is she? Um, no, nope, not her. Definitely not her. Oh, there she is. You know, <laughs> only kidding. Uh, love you, really. Um, so, uh, so you can display. And I, uh, obviously, I can change the one on the left as well. I can go through the art on there. Um, you can have these in portrait, landscape, different sizes. Don't be fooled, by the way. They are powered by the mains. It's just that our team that built the stand put a hole in this wall. 
Uh, so they're not battery powered or anything, they are mains powered. Brilliant way of having art around the house um, as well. Let's talk smart, oh, no, let's talk vacuum cleaners first before I move on. Anyone already got themselves a smart robot vacuum cleaner? Just one person? Uh, now, I had a, a, a person the other day on, what are we on now? We're on Tuesday today, aren't we? I think it was on Sunday. They came and went, oh, they're frightfully expensive. Well, no, no, they are. This one is going to pack a punch of around seven, eight hundred pounds. But let me ask you this. How much do you value your hour? If you value your hour at 20 pounds an hour and you vacuum how many hours a week? See what I mean? You're gaining that time back. This one's genius. Now they do range between like 100 odd pounds to 800, seven, 800 pounds, but this one does everything. It's got so much packed into one, I don't know how they've done it, but they have. Um, it's on the um, to charging back here, you've got a vacuum bag, so it empties itself. So you don't need to empty the vacuum cleaner. It comes up and empties itself. It's got mops underneath that he will come back here and wash itself. So it's got a dirty water tank and a clean water tank. It'll then onboard some of that clean water. So when he does go out and he's mopping the floor, he can, he can um, drop some water behind him and keep your floor nice and clean. It's got obstacle recognition, furniture recognition, floor recognition, i.e. it knows the difference between carpet, vinyl, tile. It knows when it's coming up to a rug. It knows the rug is there. So it raises the mops at the back by 12 mil. It's got a rotating brush underneath to agitate the piles of your carpet and it knows what the carpet is, so it knows whether to push down into that carpet with that rotating brush. The other thing is, it will then increase the suction when it knows it's on certain different floors, up to 8,000 PA, the highest suction of any vacuum um, of its kind on the market currently. It is quite a piece of equipment. Um, it also maps the house. So it knows where it's been to where it hasn't been. You could say, okay, over there is my hallway, but I need that to be mopped once a day at least because that's a high traffic area. Um, so you can he'll go over there, mop and hoover and vac sorry, vacuum and mop that area once or twice a day, depending on how you like. You set the, you set the parameters. You could also say, don't go to certain areas. Like he knows not to go onto this rug. Uh, the only reason is because this, this rug is quite horrendous. Um, it's molting like an Afghan hound. It's awful. Um, so he knows not to go on there. Because if he did, it'd last like two minutes and get full of whatever that is made of, the fibers. Um, so it's a really clever idea. Again, brand-wise, pick any brand you like. Just don't go too cheap. And I always say this when it comes down to smart technology. Um, anyone got Wi-Fi bulbs at home? Like Philips Hue or something like that? Anyone got Wi-Fi sockets? Now, Wi-Fi sockets are a genius idea because it means you can turn anything into home automation, i.e. you can have bedside lamps. Instead of changing the bulbs or the whole lamp to something like a smart lamp or a smart bulb, just change the socket. Unplug the lamp, take a Wi-Fi socket, put that in the wall, put your lamp into that socket, but then name the plug, that smart plug you should name bedside lamp one or bedside lamp two. Then when you connect that to your smart home assistant, i.e. Google Home or your uh, Echo or Alexa, you could then say, Echo, turn the bedside lamp one on. Lamp goes on. Echo, turn the bedside lamp one off. Or Echo, turn all the house lights off. And off they go. You haven't changed the bulb or the lamp. You've just named that socket bedside lamp one. And you could use that for, let's say, a portable heater, one of them little, um, little radiator heaters. If you're on your way home from, um, you know, in the winter when it's cold, you want to turn that little heater on so it's warm when you get home, turn it on. You can use things like Hive, Nest for your central heating. And then you can combine all these things together. Um, smart curtains and blinds. Anyone got themselves smart curtains or smart blinds? Electric ones? No? I'll tell you something, easy to install. Um, only because I... <laughs> only because I did my own. And bear in mind, I'm not very good at... Um, what would you call it, DIY by any stretch of the imagination, but I can use a screwdriver. And I went to that, okay, I'm not a fan of this store because you need GPS just to get around it, but Ikea do incredibly good smart blinds. You've got a company called blinds to go they're really good apart from their app is a little bit unstable in my opinion. Uh, but the, the ones from Ikea, four screws, two in each end, charge the power pack up, that's good to go for three to six months. And then you take out the power pack, put it on charge for a few hours, put it back in another three to six months. Easy to install, 
Um, and then you can come into your house and go, um, echo, open the blinds, echo, close the blinds, close the kitchen blinds, open the bedroom blinds 50%. Or you can do what I do and have, um, well, especially my bedroom one, because my bedroom one is a blackout blind. So at seven o'clock in the morning, it slowly starts coming up 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%. 5%. By eight o'clock, it's all the way up, and the sunlight's coming in. So that means you're waking yourself up gradually instead of your alarm going, ah, 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 waking you up and you're like, oh, where am I? Um, so it's a really nice way to, oh, and also when you're away, like I'm away from my home a lot with this kind of work, but what I do is I have my house set on away mode, and then everything goes into automation. So in the morning, my blinds open, not all of them at the same time, because that just looks weird if someone's watching, but they do all open. And in the evening, some lights come on and off throughout the house. Blinds will close themselves partly and then fully. So if someone was watching my house while I'm away, it looks like I'm home. You know, I've got alerts on certain cameras. If they, if they have any motion, I get an alert. If I leave the house because of my geofencing and I've left the window open, bing, I'll have an alert on my phone, you've left the window open. Than I know. Um, curtain wise, maybe you already have, like we have here at the Ideal Home Show, very expensive curtains. We haven't spared the budget here. Um, but you don't want to get rid of your curtains or the curtain poles. So you don't need to go to IKEA and buy a whole new electric version. Um, all you need is switch bot. Just behind here, you've got the switch bot curtain rail. So that clips onto your original rail and draws and opens the curtains. Now you can do this with the app, if I just click, uh, where are we, open. Or if you connect that via your home assistant, you could just say echo, open the curtains, and the curtains will start to open themselves. And you've changed nothing, you haven't changed? Something dropped, what was it? Curtain pole, cheap, probably Ikea. Um, <laughs> Kidding, love you, Ikea. Peace out. Um, <laughs> uh, where was I? Mm. By the way, we've got the, the stands falling apart again. I don't know. When you buy cheap, you buy twice. And that's the point. Don't buy these things um, too cheap. You can buy Wi Fi plugs on Amazon for like eight, nine pounds. Don't go with those. Any of these smart products, I always put them on a scale of one to 100, as in percentage of the price range. Sit around 65, 70, you'll always do well. Go cheaper, you'll end up having problems with them being uh, resetting themselves, power surges, power cuts, etc. Don't do them um, any good. So always go with uh, a good 65, 75 percent of the price range, or do what I do. Every one of these smart items, like the like the simple um, door lock, and the guys are just here. Download the app first. The app is always free. Download it and see what it's like. If it doesn't look like it's built built by a 12 year old in school, usually pretty good because that's the thing you use for installation um, and also connecting it to your Echo and your Alexa. And if it's not very good, then you're gonna have problems with the product. So always download the app first. And let's move over to the garden area. I've got a couple of little items to show you. Uh, Charbroil Evolve, the first time they have now made uh, a barbecue smartphone app enabled. So there shouldn't be any excuse for burning those burgers and sausages. Uh, but by all means, come up and have a look at that. Meter, uh, this is one of my favorite small products because uh, I like cooking, especially roast dinners, um, and I never get my beef right until now. This is your little thermometer prong. You put that into your joint of beef, put your beef in the oven, and then decide on the app how much you want it cooked. Medium, medium well, rare, etc. It'll tell you how hot to put the oven, and it'll tell you when it's done. That is connected to your phone via Bluetooth through your oven door. So you can just leave that in the meat until it's finished. Um, and then to charge it up, obviously you clean it first, put it back into the charging holder like that and it'll charge yourself up. It's got a um, AAA battery in the back there. It's from a company called Meter, M-E-A-T-E-R. Very clever little device. Um, power supplies at home with having power cuts and all that kind of stuff, or if you're out and about with a motor home or a caravan or you like camping, um, these EcoFlow powerhouses are incredibly good especially for running things like you know televisions laptops um, all that kind of stuff little small refrigerators can all be powered uh, by these devices again if you like any of these items you can come up and just scan the qr code that'll take you to the product one of my last items to show you is this bird buddy uh, this is the way of finding out what's coming and going from your garden it's a bird feeder 
um, but it's got a camera built in. Now, the app that comes with it will then show you what birds have been to your garden, but not just that. It's got bird recognition. It knows what birds are coming. So that way you say, oh, you had a blue tit or a, a robin, about the only birds I know. Oh, and sparrows, I know those. Um, it's a bird feeder. I'm hoping uh, that they're going to make a bird box version so then we can see the nesting going on inside. Um, but that's the first thing. And it's also, well, this one has the solar panels. You don't have to keep taking the camera out to charge it up. Um, that also joins to this like global bird buddy uh, community. You know, so you, the information that goes from your bird buddy up into the cloud uh, with all the bird buddies around the world. Um, can they, then start out, uh, they can then start working out things like migration and bird population and things like that. I think it's genius. Um, so if you're interested in that, there's a little QR code there. Um, any questions? No? Yes. The speakers on the wall, they're just sound. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing. But they're just waterproof outdoor speakers. I can show them after, though. Yeah? Any other questions? No? If you do, I mean, you're more than welcome. Come up to the stand, have a look around. Other than that, thank you very much for listening and enjoy the rest of your day at the Ideal Home Show. Thank you very much.